Hi, welcome or welcome back to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I'm a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today I'm going to be sharing with you some easy summer looks inspired by Pinterest. So let's get into it. But before we do, I will ask, like I do, if at any point at any time you find yourself liking the video, I would appreciate it if you click the thumbs up and like the video. Also click the subscribe button and join our community. And if you click the notification bell, you will be notified when new content is uploaded, usually on Sundays, but you just don't know and you don't want to miss it. So now, without further ado, let's get into it. So I went through my Pinterest boards and I did some screenshots of looks that I really like. No rhyme or reason, just what stood out to me as being good candidates for summer looks. And I put them into Canva using a mood board template just so I could see them all together. And that is kind of the basis for this. And one of the things that stood out to me, which will come as no surprise if you are not new here, is the combination of blue and green, which I love year round, but certainly in summer. And that has inspired my OOTD. So let me show you that and then we'll get into the other looks. So I'm not sure who this is in the inspiration photo from Pinterest, but I liked the green contrasted with the blue. It's different shades, obviously. And instead of sandals, I went with these white Alfani heels. The skirt is Tommy Hilfiger from Amazon. The bag is an old Amazon and the necklace is from an antique store. Here I switched it with this snakeskin red and white bag, which I think gives it a little zing. And to make it more casual, got rid of the heels, added my blue Ked sneakers, a denim jacket, and the red tote bag is thrifted. The necklace I'm wearing, it's kind of cool. It's these paper beads and they are made by women in Africa. I got this from a friend of mine at work who goes there for mission trips. And what I did to make multiple strands was I used some earrings and kind of hooked them together because otherwise they wouldn't fit around my neck. And that is my little hack for making my necklace multiple strands. So these are some of the looks, but these nails though, it's time for a manicure in the worst way. Okay, so for this next look, I do not know the source of this photo. Unfortunately, if you are familiar with this person or know where it came from, whether this is a content creator or this is an ad for something, comment down below. But anyway, at its core here, we have a white top and a royal blue bottom of some kind, a skirt, pants, not sure. And I think the thing that really brings the alpha together is the bright green bag. It just kind of adds a little, uh, a little flavor to the look, a little something. And so my interpretation is I am wearing a white button-up shirt from JCPenney. I am wearing this blue maxi skirt that was thrifted. These denim sneakers, they are by a brand called Pop. And my brightly colored bag is yellow. It is this leather tote from Amazon that I got a couple years ago. So that is the look. And it doesn't have to be a blue skirt. It could have been a green skirt or even a red skirt. Just the contrast of the white top with whichever color you prefer on the bottom and bringing the look together. Also, you'll notice in the inspiration, she's wearing sandals. I am wearing sneakers. And it's okay because I'm not trying to imitate her look per se, but I am inspired by it to use the things in my wardrobe to suit my own aesthetic. So that is the first look. Next, 
I do know this content creator. This is Kay Harms from Dressed for My Day. And she is wearing this blue top with dark wash jeans, a white blazer. She has a straw hat and her accessories are all coordinated in this tan color. The belt, the bag, the sandals. And that is the look. I really, really like it. And here is my interpretation. I am wearing a tank from Walmart, these crop jeans from JCPenney, and my accessories, the belt and bag are thrifted. The white blazer is Nicole Millen, also thrifted. The shoes are JCPenney slingbacks, and the hat is borrowed from the husband. So that is how I put it together, and I feel it's pretty comparable in the vibiness to what Kay has in her look but then I did a little remix of it and for the remix what I did was I changed the blazer to this denim thrifted banana republic blazer it's very lightweight and yet very stylish and I got rid of the dark pants and replaced them with these white style and co crop jeans and that is that so I don't know which one do you like better you can comment down below so anyway that is that look and I think it's one of my favorite it's very simple but again instead of the navy you could replace it maybe with black and um, instead of the tan it could be ivory it could be something else it doesn't have to be like the original but you know sometimes you take the inspiration and then you just make it your own so next this next uh, source, I do not know, again, the source of this photo, if this is an individual content creator, if this is an advertisement. If you know who this is, please comment down below. But in the meantime, I'm just going to call her Sunshine. So Sunshine is wearing a white shirt, a white blazer, some yellow wide leg pants, this tan bag, and looking fabulous and bright and summery. So my take on this, I am not going to do a white shirt, although I could. I am going to go with this yellow blouse from Casper. These linen pants are also from Casper. The JCPenney shoes, back to the white blazer and the bag. And that is my interpretation of Sunshine's look. And I really do like this, and I think it's something I'm excited and looking forward to wearing this summer. So next, I do have a remix, and instead of wearing the linen pants and the blouse, I have this Amazon dress. It is yellow, and I'm wearing that with the blazer. I switched out the tan shoes for these white heels which I feel just say summer and the bag is also by JCPenney I got that last year it's a Liz Claiborne bag with pastel stripes and that is that look so I don't know which one do you like better do you like the dress version better or the pants and the blouse comment down below and finally, I have this look, and the influencer, her name is Katrina London, but she is from Sweden, and very simple, very classic. She's wearing this white shirt with green pants, and it looks like an orange bag and orange open-toed shoes or sandals. So my spin on that is I have, again, back to the white button-up, with my thrifted green pants and these red Franco Sardo shoes from Macy's and this red tote bag is thrifted. So as I mentioned, there are other book looks on my inspiration board that maybe I'll get to this summer. Maybe I won't because, you know, I'm always doing the most over here, but... It's a good practice, a good way to find new ways to wear the clothes you already have and keep it sustainable. So those are the looks. 
Thank you so much for watching. And until we meet again, I hope your day is blessed and stylish.